Magandang araw po mga kaibigan namin. This is Architect Aris Basa reporting from here in Qatar. I'm right now in one of our uh, construction projects that we are assigned. We had a chance to have a chat with some of our friends who are everywhere in the world. Wala po sa Ireland, to UAE, China, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, and even Japan. Get their insights. Oh, bakit ba nang ibang bansa ang mga Pilipino at Pilipino? Our first question was, what was your reason on starting an overseas career? And our second question was, bakit ba mas prefer ng mga overseas employers ang mga Pilipino at Pilipino? Malalaman niyo po ang mga sagot nila in this interview. But before that, let's have a little bit of an interview. Reyes and I just want to say thank you to Architect Basa for inviting me to this channel. So he asked me two questions that I need to answer. So one is what made you decide to pursue overseas career? Um, number one is opportunities. Number two, uh, expand my experience. Number three, uh, to travel the world. Number four is uh, siguro karoon ng maayos na sweldo. So, yung apat na yon yun yung mga nag-push akin na mag-decide na kailangan makapag-abroad ako. And, uh, at that time, I was so aggressive na gusto ko matutunan lahat. Parang feeling ko, I need to be, I need to out of the box para ma-experience ko lahat. So, yun yung isa sa mga nag-push akin uh, na matutunan ako lahat. So, yun yun. I work in Manil in Makati for two years and then I moved to, to Dubai when I was 24. And then, uh, isa, sa nag, isa na rin sa mga kailangan kong gawin is maging matatag. Kasi pag nasa abroad ka, feeling mo mag-isa ka. And kailangan mo matutunan lahat sa trabaho mo. Pero kailangan mo rin magtanong sa mga colleagues mo, especially sa mga senior sa'yo. So, isa sa mga gusto ko din is marami akong matut natutunan, marami akong marami akong nakikilala, lumalaki yung network ko. Um, yung experience mo na iiba kasi syempre pag sa Middle East ka, puro more on high rise, madalang yung mid rise or low rise na gagawin mo. So isa sa pangarap ko din yung makapag makapagtrabaho ng high rise building. <laughs> Naging part ako ng project ng isang high rise building feeling ko, uh, natupad na rin yung isa sa pang pangarap ko nung nag-aaral ako. So, yun yun. And then, um, at one more thing, syempre yung makapag-travel ako. Kasi feeling ko, pag nasa Pilipinas ako, less yung chances ko na makapag-travel kasi uh, magastos at the same time, um, mas madali pag nasa ibang bansa ka. Yun lang naman ang opinion ko kasi yun yung na-experience ko. Hindi ko sinasabi yung nasa Pilipinas, ang sinasabi ko lang yung nasa sarili ko. So, number two, uh, bakit prefer ng mga Pilipino employer ang Pinoy architects over other nationalities? Alam mo, sa totoo lang, matigpit ang competition between the Filipinos, Indians, and uh, what else? Pilipinas and Indian siguro. So, yun yung mga mat matinding competition. Kasi tayo, marami tayong uh, kakompetensya, hindi lang mga Pilipino. Kung, kapag nag-abroad ka, syempre, marami talaga nationalities na naga, naga, uh, nagtatrabaho ng katulad mo. At syempre, yung position, ganyan-ganyan. So, lahat. So, siguro, ang the best thing na kaya tayo laging hinahire is masipag ang mga Pilipino. Uh, mababait tayo, napaka-polite natin. At the same time, palagi tayong uh, lagi tayong sumusunod sa mga yung ano tayo eh, napaka-positive natin. Masipag, positive, 
And uh, yun nga, isa sa mga ayaw ko rin bilang Pilipino. Eh yung, we never say, say no kahit hindi natin kaya. So, sana, isa sa mga nakikita ko, kaya tayo naabuso abroad, is, at, yun din naman nagdadala sa ating mga Pilipino na masisipag tayo. Eh yun yung, uh, hindi tayo marunwag sabi ng no. Isa yun sa sinasabi sa akin dati ng mga nakakatrabaho kong uh, ibang lahi. Uh, hindi lang naman sa akin, parang sinasabi nila generalized na sa, bakit ang mga Pilipino hindi nyo kayang hindi nyo kaya magsabi ng hindi na no. Ang lag ko sinasagot because ang mga Pilipino kasi mahiya ay masyado tayong polite at ayaw natin as much as possible kung kaya natin gawin, gagawin natin ganun tayong mga Pilipino. And isa pa sa nakikita ko, masyado tayong inaabuso. Yun yung ayaw na ayaw ko nangyari. Kasi syempre naman, yun nga eh, yung pangat kasi, di na nga tayo, na, naabuso na tayo sa trabaho, okay lang, hindi tayo marun magsalita kasi ang inisip natin, kailangan natin ng trabaho. Which is tama naman, pero syempre, misa, kailangan din natin i-depensin sa sarili natin. Kapag hindi natin kaya, then be it. Hindi natin kaya. So, yun yun. And, uh, the best lang talaga yung mga Filipino. And, yun lang. And, I just wanna say thank you to Architect Basa. And, bye-bye. Yes, thank you very much, Architect Rosel. That was Architect Rosel from Ireland. Nakita nyo naman, um, she came all the way from uh, UAE and since she wanted more of travel around the world, she tried to go to Europe and eventually she ended up working in a construction company in Ireland. Diba? Yan ang Pilipino architect. Hindi lang matalino, magaling pa. Thank you very much. Now let's, let's go to our next interview. We'll be featuring uh, architect Falky from China. Ito matinde. He is a master planner in China. And currently, he is the vice president of his company in China. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our good friend, Falcon Fabula. Hi, Falcon. Uh, an architect by profession, also on OFW. Career, yeah, it's my the career as an architect is my choice. Working abroad isn't my choice. I was forced to do it. Everybody knows why OFW go out. So a better pay, better compensation. Of course, cannot achieve that look. But we we should serve our own country not serve other nations. Yes, an OFW, engineer, architects, skilled workers or ordinary workers, they are helping the other nations to grow. And our, our nation is what happens. As an OFW architect, especially as a planner, as a master planner, Look at our cities. Look at Metro Manila. There's a lot of, you know, urban problems. Why? Because there's no professional looking into it. Who are designing our cities? It's the politicians. So, I have regret. Sorry to say that. Sorry for all of OFW. You know, working abroad. Yes, I'm sorry for myself. I didn't contribute much to help and build our country. How about employers looking to Filipino workers, professionals, skilled workers, or ordinary workers? Of course, they need us. We have, you know, as an architect, we can be at par with other nations in terms of talent. Ayun, maraming salamat, Arki. Architect Falki, for your uh, insights 
Um, during the, the time of this interview, he was on uh, vacation in uh, his house in the Philippines. Kaya maririnig nyo yung, 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 yung the sounds of uh, the streets of, of Manila. Um, okay. The next interview uh, will be featuring uh, architect Larry Merciales, otherwise known as Larry Art. Panorin natin. What made me decide to pursue a British career? First thing, to be honest, is the poor, comp poor comp compensation standards of, uh, of the architects in the Philippines. That's uh, actually the main reason why I decided to work in the Philippines. And secondly, is the uh, isip ko na opportunity rin na siyempre lumabas ka ng Pinas although I worked in the Philippines for almost like 10 years so I think at that time my experience is uh, strong enough to try to work abroad so ayun yung isang bagay na reason ko kung bakit gusto kong lumabas din ng bansa is yung opportunity na alam ko magiging mas magiging maganda pa yung experience ko tsaka yung career ko as an architect. So, yes, it's all. yung unang project ko abroad is uh, in Riyadh. Uh, we work in one of the big palace of the, one of the princes in uh, Riyadh. So, I worked there uh, just for, I think, one year. Because I don't want to actually move to work, I was afraid that I realized that I'm not free to go. I mean, not like in Dubai. So I just worked in Riyadh for just one one year. Then I transferred here in uh, UAE, first in Abu Dhabi. So fortunately, mag naging maganda yung uh, uh, experience ko sa Abu Dhabi because the first project palang namin is prestigious na. Uh, ginawa namin yung uh, one of the, the five-star hotel in uh, Yas Island in Abu Dhabi, the Ferrari World Hotel. Uh, they call it Marina Hotel. So, ayun, so modern and uh, well-known uh, hotel, I think, in the world. Then, after that project, uh, Nagkaroon pa kami ng mga gandang project like mga modern schools, some hotels, not only in uh, UAE but also in other countries like Oman, uh, Iraq. So, yun, medyo nasabi ko na sa uh, Abu Dhabi, nagkaroon ako ng magandang karir as part of our, uh, my journey as an architect. Then, for up after five years, I transferred ako dito sa Dubai sa isang kompanya na international anak architects. Uh, so actually, most of our projects not only here in UAE, we also have some projects in Europe, US, and China. So fortunately, uh, na handle ako at na design din ng mga projects outside UAE, like in uh, France last two years ago naghandle ako ng project sa France na residence residential project then after that also here in Ajman uh, nagkaroon kami ng mga big projects like uh, pavilion and golf club and some interior rest of the restaurant also that uh, made my made my uh, experience diversified and masasabi kong uh, maganda para sa career ko at journey. So after that, na-assign ako sa China. So for almost like two years, pabalik-balik ako ng China to check and manage our project there. So I can say na maganda yung naging opportunity ko abroad till now na nagbigay sa akin ng nakadagdag ng magandang experience sa aking career. So, 
Yan. Second thing is uh, bakit prefer ng mga employer ang mga Pilipino? Like, actually, the main reason is tayo mga Pilipino is flexible. For sure, lang natin lahat yan. Tsaka yung communication skill natin uh, compared to other uh, nationalities. Hindi naman tayo pahuli kasi kahit na paano nga. Medyo mag- meron tayong magandang communication skill in English. So, third, I think, is yung talent. Kasi tayo mga Pinoy, alam nyo naman natin, hindi naman sa pagmamayabang, especially kapag nakapag-architecture tayo sa Pilipinas, kahit na paano naman eh, sala na tayo dun eh. So, medyo may skill na tayo. Tsaka, sabi natin na talented, siguro. Nung siya sa mga naging reason, kaya usually yung mga employers talagang prefer nila yung Pilipino. Tsaka, lastly, last thing, I mean, yung pagiging hardworking ng Pinoy tsaka yung pagmamahal natin sa uh, pagiging arkitekto natin ay yun yung tingin ko na advantage natin sa ibang nationalities so thank you to sa uh, Architect Claudio Mishalas working here in Dubai Uy. thanks ayun maraming salamat Architect Lar Architect Larry is not just an architect he is an accomplished artist Kapagsagawa na siya ng uh, exhibit of his works and many of his uh, paintings and artworks have been exhibited in various places all over the world. And he have also set, sold some of his artworks to, to, to various clients all over the world. Nakita nyo naman ang arkitekto, hindi lang arkitekto, artist pa, and truly a global Filipino professional. Okay, let's go to our next... Um, Architect, punta naman tayo sa Saudi Arabia. Pakinggan natin na kaibigan natin, Peter Pasho. Hello, I am architect Peter Pasho. I am 45 years old. I have been working overseas since 2003 around the Middle East. My first country is in Qatar and the longest years I have worked in the Middle East as well. More than nine years in total. Pero hindi siya dire-diretsong 9 years. In 2006, I moved to Dubai, UAE and worked as a site architect in Dubai Metro Project. After 2 years, I bumalik ako sa Doha, Qatar to work with New Doha International Airport. Then in, on 2014, I was transferred to Muscat, Oman and worked on Muscat International Airport. After completing the project in 2018, I transferred to Riyadh, KSA. Our project is Riyadh Metro Project, which currently I am working in. In total, I am working around the Middle East for more than 17 years. Question 1. What made me decide to pursue overseas career? I think the answer is unanimous. Gusto natin magkaroon ng mas malaking sahod at opportunity. Sa tingin ko, halos lahat naman ng Pinoy na lumalabas ng bansa, anuman ang career niya, ay iisa ang ating rason. mas malaking kita at opportunity. Di bali nang magtiis tayo na mawalay sa ating pamilya, kaibigan at sa ating kinalakhang bansa para lang matupad natin ang ating mga pangarap at maging financially stable tayo. Question 2. Bakit prefer nating overseas employers ang Pinoy architects over other nationality? Answer. In my opinion and based on my personal experience, overseas employers prefer us Pinoy architects because of our talent and skills. Our output compared to other nationality is quite better than them. In all aspects of our works, we can do a better job, and that is true. We can also do multitasking. Most of Pinoy architects can do different jobs and tasks. Kaya gusto tayo ng ating mga amo. At higit sa lahat ay ang ating attitude, hindi tayo reklamador. Hanggat kaya natin ay ginagawa natin, lalo na kung mabait ang ating amo at maayos ang ating kumpanya. Madalas nga kahit walang bayad ng OT ay magtatrabaho pa rin tayo. Ganoon tayo magtrabaho, ganoon tayo kasi pag mga Pinoy. Hindi lamang mga arkitekto kundi halos lahat ng mga Pinoy working abroad. E ganyan ang attitude sa trabaho kaya mas gusto tayo ng ating overseas employers. Maraming salamat! Brad Pitt, 
and si architect Peter Passion. He is a journeyman here in the Middle East. He's been here in Qatar. I actually worked with him before. Then he left for an opportunity to work in Oman. Came back here, worked in Saudi Arabia, worked in UAE, and again now in Saudi Arabia. Maraming salamat, architect Peter Passion. The last two architects whom we will be interviewing are based here in Qatar. The first architect we'll be speaking right now is architect Blun Simpron. He is well known in the architect circle here in Qatar, not only the architect circle but also in the environmental planners circle as well as in the uh, quantity surveyor circle. Please welcome UAP Qatar Chapters President for the fiscal year 2019 to 2020, architect Miluna Simpson. Hi, everybody. Good day. Thank you for having me here. With your question, what made me decide to pursue an overseas career? Well, there's two things. One is for greener pasture, and two is to get to my dreams faster. Well, allow me to share my views why I, why I continued my career here abroad. Staying here or working here, actually, it's giving you a lot of advantages. While we have enough money to support our family here, we also have enough money to support ourselves, to develop ourselves. Apart from that, we also have enough time. So that depends on the person how he would how she or he would spend his time but for me I spent my time reading I spent my time looking for studies or certification that would help improve my career it could help to, to help me with my work at least here it's easy and uh, not so expensive to study if you are going back to the Philippines because for sure we all will studying PMP for example getting the exam it will cost us a lot studying contracts management it will cost us a lot studying MBA it will cost us a lot so while while we are here and while we we still can why not spend our time wisely this is one this is one advantage from apart from that greener pasture actually you you, you will realize that you will, you will also learn other culture. You will also learn to love the people around. You'll also learn to understand the laws and how people are behaving. And you can differentiate it from the Philippines, from where you came from. And by that, seeing the advantages and disadvantages, even the weather itself and how the people react. Actually seeing the disadvantage and the advantages you will also learn to love your country and understand your country and understand your people and you'll be proud to be a Filipino. The most important is that whatever we have learned from here, whatever we have experienced here, we will not use it against our country. Instead, we will use it to help develop our country. We will use it to help understand what are the needs of our country that we have to improve, help improve by educating our Kababayans, educating our family members, something like that. So, so I think whatever we have experienced here, it's really worth sharing. Well, with your question, why most employers would prefer Filipino architects than the other nationalities? Although the question is a bit racist, but well, let's put it this way. For example, if a company or an employer needs to let go one of his staff due to economic reason, well, of course, he will choose the person to let go must be the person with the higher pay scale. And most Filipinos in this country, we are one of those people with lower pay scale than other nationalities. So pay scale could be one reason. And secondly, they would choose Filipino because Filipinos are, if not all, we are passionate, we love our job, we are committed and dedicated. We don't really mind extending working hours without pay just to meet a deadline. 
But one not so good trait of Filipino is that we are so shy. We don't want to present our work. We let others take the credit and just to stay in the background because we are not so confident. We, we don't want to speak. We could write, but we don't want to speak. So why not get other platform? Why not study speaking just to present your work? Because this is your work. The second and the last trait that is not so good as I observed, due to time constraint, this will be the last. Also, we remain contented. I have I have met a lot of people. I'm encouraging them to study, to at least get some certification for what they are doing. And they say that I'm okay with where I am. It's very important for us to, that if we want to remain employed, we have to know the, the ladder of our career, where it is going. Where are you going? So that is okay if you are just 25 years old, but that would not be okay if you are 50. It's okay to pause for a while to momentarily enjoy the moment but the bottom line is as we grow older everything goes up our needs our necessities and even the qualification requirement and requirements later on will become stringent just look at the industry we're in this construction industry it has fast phase development from the manufacturing of materials to the method of installation it has it has a lot of uh, improvements that, that's coming and we really have to cope up as architects. Who knows that whatever advancement or, or whatever knowledge that we have now will become obsolete in the near future. This is the importance of the continuing professional development and the importance of taking advantage of the time and the resources that we have in order to improve ourselves, to develop ourselves. Let us not remain stagnant. Let's keep moving. Ayon, maraming salamat po, Architect Loon, for your insights and your suggestions for our professional development. Indeed, totoo yan. We have, we have to uh, we have to really improve ourselves, keep on learning, so that eventually, when the time comes when we go back home to the Philippines, we can still contribute to our society. Up next is um, another lady architect who is based here in Qatar, architect Marika. Hi, architect Marika here. Uh, what makes me decide to pursue my overseas career? Mm. Eight years ago, I was hired by the largest uh, mall developer in the Philippines, which is SM Super Malls. And, um, year 2013 i was fortunate to be one of the delegates to be sent to japan and check out how the uniqlo store is being developed because that time they were about to introduce this um, clothing clothing rtw boutique which i think is the biggest one of the biggest store in the the whole the whole world i guess and they wanted to introduce it to the Philippines. So, yeah, it was my first abroad experience. And um, aside from being amazed to the country, Japan, I was amazed how these guys, how the methodology of the construction they are, they are practicing there. I mean, when, when, when they say it's hairline finish, it's hairline finish, it's really, it's really the finish that they will give and those termination in the stainless doesn't have this gap because they said bad joint. Those little details, this Japanese really amazed me and you know, it makes their store perfect. And so we roll out like this in the Philippines and from then on, I was eager and um, hungry to, you know, to discover and check out what's what's in there for example what's the interior fit out or how the retail high-end boutiques is being made by european is being made by american and um i don't want to be stuck and um be be in one one boat i mean you know i, I want to learn a lot and and so true enough i was in fortunate i was hired in doha and 
I was part of one of the retail retail company here which caters high-end boutique as well and um, it contributes a lot with my professional growth you know um, you're not just you're not just developing an interior fit out you're not just designing a retail but all the design should consider the culture the social norms of the people because here it's Muslim country here it's very conservative here's different so I believe those kind of consideration will will take effect on my professional growth and um, this is what I would like I would like to happen to myself to become more more flexible and to become more more global competitive you know I, I want to grow like that I, I want to check everything everything how how they are developing it and yeah and i guess I'll, I'll be discovering more and yeah this is the reason why i pursue my what made me pursue my uh, career overseas um bakit gusto ng mga employer ang mga filipino architects simple lang kasi tayo mga filipino resilient tayo, madiskarte, flexible. Katulad ko, wala naman akong alam sa MEP. Wala akong masyadong alam sa QCDD na dumating ako dito. Pero lahat yon, I, I've tried for it. I I grow for it. I learn. Kasi hindi naman siya ganun kadali, pero hindi tayo ang mga Pilipino hindi takot matuto willing tayong matuto so yun yung tingin kong gustong gusto nila sa atin mga arkitektong Pilipino we all around tayo pwede tayo sa drawing, pwede tayo sa MEP everything and we design by heart I know that, I design by heart itong mall namin kahit na anong maliit na detalye I treated this as my own house so I guess that's 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 the reason why masikap tayo, matyaga tayo, inaalam natin lahat bilang Pilipino, ayaw natin ng mga trabahong basta-basta lang. I'm speaking for myself. Ayoko ng basta-basta ang trabaho lang. Uh, gusto ko talaga, pag sinabi kong high-end, high-end, talagang ang quality ng fit-out ng interior, high-end. Pag, pag design ko, talagang okay, talagang ibibigay ko sa kliyente ng ganito. So, meron tayong commitment in quality. Meron tayong commitment in terms of uh, malasakit sa project, sa budget, everything. So, yun yung hindi nila makukuha sa ibang lahi. Yung malasakit natin bilang arkitekto, Pilipino, gusto natin syempre makatipid yung yung kliyente pero hindi hindi nagsasacrifice yung quality yun yung tingin kong uh, one of the the accounts that um, we have we have as Filipino architects Maraming salamat Architect Maricar for sharing us your experience and your story on how you came about on how you decided to work overseas I hope that these uh, interviews have been uh, educational and inspirational for our young architects and even for the students who are planning to work uh, elsewhere outside of our country after they finish their studies. Our only hope is that whatever we learn overseas, when we come back home, we get to share it with our, uh, with our community, with our country. And uh, for those who have the opportunity to share it now, like what your truly has been doing, we'll be sharing whatever we have learned, whatever we are learning, so that uh, many of our architects can learn. Kaya po, um, in our own little way, we are trying to share our skills in building information modeling, our experiences here overseas, that it may serve as inspiration for our architects in the Philippines and all over the world. With that, um, I'd like to say thank you to everyone who watched this video. 
and I hope you stay with us for the next coming video similar to this and uh, our tutorials will continue also kaya maraming salamat po and I hope to see you on the next video Welcome po to my YouTube channel. This is Bim Smart with Aris Basa.